What is going on in Kenya now is no longer a demonstration. It is post-election violence. Raila Odinga is just doing post-election violence. And I want to tell you for free, Tafadali Raila Odinga ukita kulete fujo peleka madare. Usipitia isli. Juzi ulipitia isli, ukaharibu mali ya wafanyi beshara wa isli. And we are telling you, the government of Kenya will protect the property and the lives of every citizens, including those in Isili. And the people of Isili must carry their business. All this is happening, and the currency, the common denominator, is the Kenyatta family. Why the Kenyatta family? Because the last four years, the Kenyatta family, under his administration, President Kenyatta, committed serious socio-economic crimes and human rights against the people of Kenya. Many Kenyans were killed, mainly from Northeastern, and Coast, and Lamu, and Kwale, and Nairobi. Many people were killed under your watch, under your administration, during the last five years when you are together with your brother, the handshake. Bodies were thrown in Tanariva here. Bodies were thrown in Yala. There are many Kenyans who lost their loved ones, their husband, their, their sons, and their fathers. And because you know those crimes will haunt you one day, Mr. Kenyatta, be like President Moy, the late President Moy, be like your father, be like President Kibaki. Go enjoy your retirement benefit. You cannot hide the crimes you have committed against the people of Kenya. And we will tell those parents who lost their loved ones through extrajudicial killings perpetuated by the likes of George Kinoti and the many, many other people who are in charge of the criminal justice system. You will be accountable. If not in this world, you will be accountable to Allah. You have amassed enough wealth. Please do not destroy this country. You said William Ruto will not become a president. Allah said William Ruto will become and now he is a president. You used all state machineries. You couldn't stop. And we dare you. And I'm speaking as a Minister for Security. This time round, the property, the lives of the people of Kenya will be protected by the government elected by the majority of the people of Kenya.